I never thought I'd be one to recite a story like this. I'm a regular guy, a software engineer, nothing interesting about me, at least until that one horrifying night. I'd been out at a local pub with friends, celebrating our successful project. The drinks flowed like a river, and before I knew it, I was stumbling back home alone, the effects of alcohol dousing my senses. My route home wasn't through the most inviting of areas. The path twisted through a neighborhood that always felt a bit off. You know, run-down buildings, abandoned playgrounds. However, it was the quickest way home, and I didn't fancy navigating any longer than necessary in my inebriated state. I was halfway home, my footsteps echoing in the silent street when the wind picked up. It carried a sickly sweet smell that turned my stomach. Discarded food, I reasoned. Nothing unusual for this part of town. Then I saw it. A flicker of movement in my peripheral vision. A rustling sound came from behind a building. I froze. My heart pounded in my chest. My senses heightened despite the alcohol. An alley cat, I told myself, shaking off my paranoia. Resuming my journey, I squinted into the darkness. There, on a nearby lamppost, was a tattered poster, barely hanging on. A clown advertisement for an old circus. The ink washed away with time, leaving a grotesque, almost sinister face leering back at me. I shuddered, pushing the unsettling image from my mind. A few more steps, and I heard it. A giggle, low and raspy, echoing around the vacant street. I felt a chill creep up my spine. I turned around, my eyes scanning the darkness. Nothing. Just an empty road bathed in a feeble glow from the distant streetlights. Get it together, man, I whispered to myself. The drinks must have been hitting harder than I thought. Just as I convinced myself it was my drunken imagination, I heard it again. This time, closer. My breath hitched. I stumbled back a few steps, my eyes darting from one corner of the street to the other. I wasn't alone. Across the street, under the dim light of a street lamp, I saw a figure emerge. A tall man, donning a clown suit straight out of a 60s horror flick. His face was painted white, eyes ringed with black and red smeared across his mouth in a cruel mockery of a smile. He tilted his head, staring straight at me. I blinked hoping it was just the alcohol messing with my vision. But no, when I opened my eyes, he was still there. He started to laugh, the sound echoing through the empty street, sending chills down my spine. My heart pounded in my chest like a wild drum. I turned around and started running, my fear sobering me up. Glancing back, I saw the clown was following me, his steps slow and deliberate, yet he was catching up. His laughter turned into a howl, filling the night with an eerie soundtrack. Every corner I turned, every alley I dashed through, he was there, following me. The more I ran, the louder his laughter grew, echoing in my ears. In a final desperate attempt, I bolted towards an old playground. If I could scale the fence on the other side, I'd land in a busier part of town. Maybe there, the clown wouldn't dare follow. As I ran into the playground, my foot caught on something, and I went sprawling onto the gravel. Gritting my teeth against the pain, I turned around. The clown was standing at the entrance, the streetlight casting long, threatening shadows. He held something up. My heart skipped a beat. It was my wallet. It must have fallen out during my wild sprint. You dropped this, he rasped, throwing it towards me. His laughter rang out again, even as he turned and slowly walked away disappearing into the darkness. I lay there, on the cold, hard ground, too terrified to move. After what felt like hours, I pushed myself up and grabbed my wallet. Stumbling home, I couldn't shake off the encounter. The image of that creepy clown, the sound of his laughter, it all lingered in my mind. That's my eerie run-in with a creepy clown, a nightmare that unfolded on a drunken walk home. You might say it was just a prankster having fun, but every time I hear distant laughter or see a flicker in my peripheral vision, I feel that fear creeping in, the memory of that night still haunting me.